You know what she's saying here. I mean, look, this is the foreperson of a special grand jury. Now, in Georgia, they, in this special grand jury that she was the foreperson of, do not have the power to indict. They made recommendations, clearly for charges, to the Fulton County DA, Fonnie Willis, who will decide what charges, if any, to bring before a regular grand jury. This entire special grand jury process, though, has been hidden in secrecy for almost eight months now. Suddenly, yesterday, everything changes. And it is, of course, allowing Donald Trump and others to use it as a political cudgel. Posting earlier today, this Georgia case is ridiculous, a strictly political continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. Now you have an extremely energetic young woman, the get this four person of the racist DA's special grand jury going around and doing a media tour revealing incredibly the grand jury's inner workings and thoughts. This is not justice. This is an illegal kangaroo court. Now, maybe that response is to be expected from Donald Trump, but he has a point about her. The grand jury four person shouldn't be foreshadowing and hinting about their findings. There is a reason the grand jury's work is supposed to remain secret. And yet, in interview after interview, she just kept playing this like it's almost a game. Did you recommend charges against Donald Trump? I really don't want to share something that the judge made a conscious decision not to share. I, I will tell you that it was a process where we heard his name a lot. Uh, we definitely heard a lot about former President Trump, and we definitely discussed him a lot in the room. And I will say that uh, when this list comes out, you wouldn't, there are no major plot twists waiting for you. She's acting more like a reality TV show contestant, not quite giving any, any away everything about who wins the season finale, but just being cute enough to maintain the juiciness of the interview. But perhaps most significantly, if there are, in fact, charges, she's giving Donald Trump's team ammo, both legal and political, to use against the process and the investigation. Look, this is not the way the system is supposed to work. And according to CBS News, those wheels are already in motion. Lawyers close to several GOP witnesses in Fulton County investigation, they said, are preparing to move to quash any possible indictments by the DA based on the public statements by the four women of the special grand jury. Look, even if that fails, which it likely would, Combine this with the fact that the grand jury was impaneled by District Attorney Fonnie Willis, who's an elected official of one party, investigating a leader of the other party, and who, by the way, even held a political fundraiser using the title of her office, for a candidate who was running against a state senator who she's investigating. So that's why it's significant that at one point, it even feels like Coors is almost pressuring Fonnie Willis to bring charges. What would your reaction be if the DA decides against bringing any charges after what you've seen? I will be sad if nothing happens. Like that's, that's about my only request there is, is for something to happen. You can interpret what that means. Bottom line, Coors is certainly not doing the DA any favors in Willis's effort to claim the process was all fair and nonpartisan. Donald Trump and others may have committed crimes in, in the state of Georgia, some of them serious. But Coors's antics on TV are soiling the legitimacy of any potential charges. Joining us now is Christian Smith. He's the former assistant district attorney in Fulton County, Georgia. He also ran against Fonnie Willis in the Democratic primary for DA in 2020. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, first, let me just get your reaction to all these interviews that she's doing. I wish she would not have done this. Um, but, I mean, everything around former President Donald Trump seems to be uh, always in the media, always a circus, always along these lines. Let me ask you this. Is it is it illegal what she's doing or is it just improper? I mean, she's skating on the she's skating on a very thin line. I'm pretty sure the judge gave a gag order about not divulging any of the the information that took place in the special grand jury proceedings. And she's. She's being very careful not to discuss uh, specific things that they talked about in those rooms or, or specific things in a report. So I, I, I think very much improper. Uh, I think it's a fine line about whether or not she's uh, doing anything illegal right now. I have, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.